Hello North Clifton Heroes, Jazz here. Thank you so, so much for watching my TEDx video and please will you do something for me? Will you share it with colleagues from other schools? In fact, anyone who you know is an everyday hero and needs to be reminded of that fact. Listen, I know that you're a small school and I know that in a small school it kind of feels like quite a tight family and you can get used to family norms and learning habits and then when something different happens, um, everyone has to budge up a bit. Like when you have a new baby, everyone has to move up a bit in bed to fit this new baby in. My behaviour was atrocious at school. I was an evil child. I, I threw chairs, I shouted, I spat, I screamed, I hurt other people, I hurt myself because I was broken inside. And I didn't have the words or the vision or the values to translate what that would mean to say to someone. I, I didn't ask for help because I didn't know how to. In fact, my behavior, my acting out was me asking for help. It was the it, it was me screaming, help me, help me, help me do something. But at the same time, I didn't think I was worth it. I didn't think I mattered. And it was only when I was in these five teachers' classes and, and the accidental heroes, accidental saviours that were part of the surrounding cast, it was only in my dealings with those that I realised I mattered to them. I was in a secondary school recently and I did um, I did a talk to 300 year 11s. Rough, rough secondary school, knife fights, expert, everything's going on. I do this talk and I say to the students, put your hand up if you feel that the staff in this school are for you. Not only did only six hands go up, the rest of the school, the rest of the kids were like, Pum. and the staff were sat at the back. The staff, were, I could see them sat at the back and I could see them deflate. They're like, are you kidding me? After all the compromise and everything I do. And I thought, oh, better bring this back. So I said, Put your hand up if you feel that one or two members of this school, one or two members of staff are for you. 300 hands. Because they know. They know if what you say and do is in alignment with what you think and feel. They know when you care. And actually, that's, that's all that's required. It's the smallest things that make the biggest difference. I, I read a tweet the other day of someone saying, she was in a school, in school, one of the kids, secondary school, jumps on his desk to jump around, and she says to him, mate, listen, you have to get down. And then she flashes him her, her heart sign with her fingers. And he jumps off his desk, gets his phone out about it, and then puts it away and sits and listens. Because that connection that you build with those children conquers everything. But you might not be the last person in the, the line of 400 people who are going to exactly eventually make a mindset shift in that child. You might be number one of two, one of 20. You might be number two of 400. So sometimes it gets thrown back in your face because it's not the end and because that child has had so many adults let them down you expecting them to trust you at the drop of a hat is be there be you and do what you came into teaching to do make a difference thank you on behalf of every child you've had have now and will have for making that difference and for being the adult that they need in their life